You hear that sound? That sound is the sound of generators. We had a tornado roll through this week, which means that uh, every power line between here and Detroit is down. We're part of Detroit Edison, which means they don't give a hoot about us because we're 100 miles away from base. So no electricity, we're left to fend for ourselves. We're out of electricity right now. I'm gonna go get some uh, gas. And then uh, grab some breakfasts too. And joining me for the day are these two little ones. Where are we guys going? Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts. Be able to flush toilets again. All right, so I got all the junk out of the truck, got all the stuff off, got it down to about what will be the normal weight, and I'm just about to take the uh, wheels off. Before I did that, I was like, oh, yeah, I should mention. All right, let's do that again. All right, so the big project this weekend is I'm going to be putting a lift kit from AEV onto my truck. It's a dual sport, heavy duty. It's supposed to be like two and a half, three inches on uh, the Rubicon. So I took the uh, cargo rack system out, emptied everything out of the back of the truck, I'm about to get started. But before I did that, I thought, let's check the, uh, let's check the uh, rig here and see what the height is. So, all right, we're gonna measure from right there. I'm gonna call that six and a half inches of clearance. And, that one in the front is sitting at about seven inches of clearance. So when all is said and done, should be between like nine and 10 inches of clearance there. If it's truth in advertising. Never done this before, so fingers crossed. Might be going to the store a bunch. So I've already ran into the first problem. My jack stands aren't tall enough. Got my jack stand here and I still got a good uh, three inches of space I'm gonna need to get. So, looks like I'm gonna run to the store, get something to stack this up, because for this job I'm gonna want the jack stand to be uh, supporting the frame and not the drive shaft. Although we, were, we are gonna have to lift the drive shaft, but we'll probably just use the uh, jack for that. So it begins, first trip to the store. So, truck's jacked up. 
I don't feel very safe with it like it is, so I'm gonna get a couple more jack stands, and it's time to take my uh, daughter to go hang out with her cousin. So we're gonna go run that errand, and then come back. Why are there shoes on this seat? Huh? Huh? Don't smile like that. All right, we're gonna go get another jack stand and all that good stuff. Hey guys, don't worry. The Jeep's not gonna be as tall as Opus truck. You don't want that? You want it? All right, I guess we're gonna go get a six inch lift kit instead of a three inch then. Through the magic of filmmaking and uh, frustration, the job's done. The truck is fully lifted. So let's see how tall it is. Yeah, I was I got sick of working on it and uh, and making the video and going back and forth to the store. That I was like, screw this. Well, anyways, let's see how tall it actually is. All right. So the original measurement was like three or six and a half inches. And now it's sitting at just shy of 12 inches. For a three inch lift kit. I don't know, my mass a little off there. And the front was sitting right around the same, and it's sitting at 10 and three quarters. Again, three inch lift kit. Got a little bonus on this one. So the advertising for this, or the uh, reviews, all said that it had a uh, more than three inch lift, and uh, without the weight, obviously it's sitting considerably higher. Um, which is actually kind of a concern until I get the weight in it. Um, it's not really probably good for the axles that it's got all that extra uh, extra height on it. The, ang the angles in the axles are probably not good. So I'm gonna go load it back up, see what happens. And uh, first I'm gonna measure because I'm, I'm gonna get airbag air springs installed in it so that I can do load management when I get really big loads for cross country trips and stuff like that. But uh, you know the drill, work hard, play hard, be a big softie when you get home. And here's some gratuitous shots of the Jeep. Thank you. 